James Choke hated combined science. It should have been test tubes, jets of gas, and sparks flying all over the place like he'd imagined when he was at primary school. What he got was an hour propped on a stool watching Ms. Vault write on a blackboard. You had to write everything down, even though the photocopier got invented 40 years earlier. It was last lesson but one, raining outside and turning dark. James was sleepy because the lab was hot and he'd been up late playing Grand Theft Auto the night before. Samantha Jennings sat next to him. Teachers thought Samantha was fantastic, always volunteering for stuff, neat uniform, glossed nails. She did all of her diagrams with three different coloured pens and covered her exercise books in wrapping paper so that they looked extra smart. But when the teachers weren't looking, Samantha was a total cow. She was always winding James up about his mum being fat. James's mum is so fat she has to grease the bathtub or she gets stuck in it, Samantha said. And Samantha's cronies laughed the same as always. James's mum was huge. She had to order her clothes out of a special catalogue for fat people and it was a nightmare being seen with her. Little kids mimicked the way she walked, people stared. James loved his mum, but he tried to find excuses when she wanted to go somewhere with him. I went for a five mile jog yesterday, Samantha said. Two laps around James's mum. James looked up from his exercise book. That is so funny, Samantha, he said. Even funnier than the first three times you said it. James was one of the toughest kids in year seven. Any boy cussing his mum would get punched. But what could you do when it was a girl? Next lesson, he'd just sit as far from Samantha as he could. Your mum is so fat, Samantha said, but James was sick of it. He jumped up, making his stool tip over backwards. What is it with you, Samantha? James shouted. The lab went quiet and every eye turned towards the action. What's the matter, James? Samantha grinned. Can't take a joke. Mr. Choke, pick up your seat and get on with your work, Miss Vault shouted. You say one more word, Samantha, and I'll... But James was never any good at comebacks. I'll bloody... Samantha giggled. What'll you do, James? Go home and cuddle your big fat mummy. James wanted to see something other than the stupid grin on Samantha's face. He grabbed Samantha off the stall, bundled her up against the wall, then spun her around to face him. He froze in shock. Blood was running down Samantha's face. Her cheek had a long cut where it had caught on a nail sticking out of the wall. James backed up, scared. Samantha cupped her hands over the blood and started bawling her head off. James Choke, you're in extremely serious trouble now, Miss Vault shouted. Everyone in James's class was making some sort of noise and James couldn't face up to what he'd done. No one would believe this was an accident. He made a run for the door, but Miss Vault grabbed James by his blazer. Where do you think you're going? She shouted. Get out my way, James shouted back. He gave Miss Vault a shove and she toppled backwards onto her ass, making her limbs flip helplessly in the air like a beetle turned upside down. James slammed the classroom door and ran down the corridor. The school gates were locked, but he escaped over the barriers and into the teacher's car park.